Alright, welcome back guys. Once your first time here, I'm Vision Hero Bunner, Tam you guys in our video. Tam you guys on a review for Power Rangers Sound of Fury Season 2, Episode 2, The Festival. Now, if Power Rangers aren't your instant, look for the hit subscribe button down below. Hit that bell icon to miss more Power Rangers content from me. Moving forward. Now, let's begin. So, Episode 2 is called The Festival. Now, this is a very interesting episode. So, it pretty much starts off with the fact that it was one of the other Rangers' birthdays recently. And they decided to look up when Zato and Ion's birthday were. However, on RAFCON, they have something different. Where instead of having each individual birthday, they have something called the Triple Suns Festival. Pretty much where everybody celebrates their birthday on the same day. Which is a very interesting concept. I like how Rafcon has its own special celebration, something different. So I really like that. And, you know, the Rangers are, you know, help going along doing things to help them celebrate the Triple Suns Festival here on Earth. Which is really cool. And, you know, of course, it's the, the a party, so they give them gifts. They made Zato these cool nunchucks, and they gave Ayana a motorcycle. Which is really cool. I like that. Um, then, meanwhile, you got at the villain's base... You got um, Slifer and um, Wreckmate who decide to go off on a duel with each other to try and see who can take down the most rangers. Now Slifer had this potion that he was going to use to make himself more strong and powerful. However, Wreckmate takes it and uses it for himself. So I really like that. It shows a rivalry forming between the two generals along with showing that you know, Wreckmate is willing to do certain things to, you know, show Void Knight, his leader, you know, how what lengths he's willing to go to succeed. So I really like that. So you got the two of them who head off. Meanwhile, back at the base, you know, you got everybody who's working on these cakes. Meanwhile, Ion stays behind to check out the nunchucks Zato got. And he ends up accidentally, you know, they end up malfunctioning and he accidentally breaks some things nearby. Um, but uh, but then, of course, they are interrupted before you can say anything by the attacks from Slifer and Wreckmate. First off, we got Zato, uh, Amelia, and Ollie who face off against Wreckmate who pretty much pummels them all. And Zato tries to use the Dino Chucks, but they end up malfunctioning like we had seen earlier. So that doesn't work for him. I really like that. It definitely was an interesting concept there. And they are eventually forced to retreat just due to the fact that, you know, Wreckmate's just too powerful. Um, I do like some of the comedy there in the scenes with, like, Zato and them saying Burb instead of BRB. That was really funny. Um, then, meanwhile, you got Slifer and Yukis who take on... Um, Javi, Ion, and Izzy, they end up, you know, pretty much pushing him back, you know, having, you know, taking them pretty much down easily. I do like some of the comedy there with Cypher, some of his, you know, kind of like his corny, like, little, you know, remarks in battle as he, you know, pretty much says, pretty much repeats everything he's saying as he does it in battle. I really like that with Cypher. And I think Kobe Campbell, who I've said this many times, probably has a fun day time voicing him. I, he's probably one of my favorite characters he's voiced in a long time. Um, but then they are interrupted as Wreckmate shows up there. And, you know, you got Mucus and Cypher who retreat or stand down for a few minutes while Wreckmate takes them down. Pretty much to the point where uh, the Garcias are badly pummeled again and Ion is pretty much forced to retreat with them. And you got Swifer who confronts Wreckmate again. He's still angry, but, you know, Wreckmate doesn't really care um, about, you know, Swifer, you know, not having a potion, of course. So, meanwhile, back at the base, you know, you got the Rangers recovering and Ion and Zato are the only ones left to fight. And they realize that, you know, they're going to need a new weapon since the Dino Chucks didn't work. And they decide to look at the Rangers database that Mick gave him last season again I really love how they're keeping that relevant in the story and so they look up certain different things like you know the fire smasher from samurai the sonic thing from um, ninja storm and then they look at some of the bikes from MMPR and other seasons now one thing I really like here is that they actually looked at certain things from each different era of power rangers you had them looking at ninja storm you had them looking at Nia Saban, even though we don't like that, because he's your heir. You got the Disney season represented, and you got the original Saban series um, recognized. So I really liked it. It was a nice, cool callback. However, you know, Ion's mistake earlier caused 
um, so on's, you know, parts to be damaged, so there's not much they can make anymore. Um, however, while looking at the bikes, they do realize that they can definitely probably make one of those. And Ion decides to give over his bike, um, due to, you know, he says that the team, the team needs him, um, and he needs to, you know, put that ahead of anything else. So you got him who offers that up so they can transform that into a new weapon. While he goes to face Rackmate who's returned. Again, really like the fight there um, between the two of them. Again, really like the the funny puns from Rackmate. Those are always good. And Ion, they, again, Ion doesn't always stand a chance. He's about to be taken down by Rackmate in their battle. However, Zato shows up with the new... Um, motorcycle type weapon and takes down Wreckmate forcing him to retreat and you know the two of them kind of you know decide, forgive each other because Zeta was mad that he used the nunchucks without his permission and not letting him know and causing some damage at the base and they end up returning home and you know the other four rangers are you know healed they're doing better they you know the cakes that they made are finished and they end up celebrating the triple suns festival eating the cakes the garcia twin family and ali don't like them but interestingly enough amelia does is that a you know hint at something coming later i don't know we'll have to wait and see but that, i just thought that was an interesting little easter egg possibly there so i've i thought this was an okay episode definitely wasn't as strong as the previous episode premiere honestly i feel like i don't know the lesson of the day or moral for this episode felt like I don't even know what it was. So I got to take off points there. I also want to take off points for the fact that I feel like Cypher could have made another potion for himself. But he didn't. I understand story-wise why they didn't do it. But I feel like that was just a little thing like really they couldn't kind of done that. I mean again I understand Sentai footage. I understand certain things. But it just kind of felt silly. Again, thought it was an okay episode. If I had to give this episode a grid, I'd give it a 3.5 out of 5. Okay episode, not great, but okay. I thought it was just def- just a solid okay episode. But we know your thoughts and opinions about the episode in the comment section down below. So yeah guys, that's my review of Power Rangers Down of Fury Season 2 Episode 2, The Festival. As always, if you liked this video, don't forget to get a big thumbs up and share. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that bell icon to miss more Power Rangers content from me moving forward. And go for me on Instagram, Twitter, which I linked in the best section of my YouTube channel. As always, I'm Vision Hero Boy Entertainment, and I'll see you next time.